Hey guys, uh, this is Yus Martinez from Mixed In, and this is Mixed In's Top 10. So today we got the Top 10 Scariest Movies. So, let's go! So number 10, we got Saw. So, personally, this is uh, on our list, it's, it's more, you know, for people that voted on these. For me, personally, Saw was, it wasn't really scary, per se. But I refuse to watch it. Yeah, but I, it's a thriller, dude, it's a great it's, movie. It's a thriller. No, don't get me wrong, it's yeah. a good movie. It has, it's, it has Carrie El, 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 Elwood, El, Eloise, Eloise. El, 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 I don't know. It has the guy from Men in Tights, Robin Hood Men in Tights, come on. I, 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 yeah, the guy that, well, yeah, he, he, uh, he was the guy that yeah. actually, anyways, I'm not gonna spoiler alert up here, but, no, spoil uh, away, dude. so spoiler alert, spoil he's away. the guy that was, I, I believe he was the, the he was the captive, yeah, that, that the, uh, that Jigsaw captured, yep. and he had him in that room with, it looked like a, uh, like a, what, like an old shower room or something like that yeah. that he had him chained yeah. to. Anyways. You got Danny Glover in it? Yeah, that's right. He was in there. Yeah. Danny Glover. Come on, yep. dude. He's not getting too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's Danny not. Glover. But, uh, yeah, no, that's, uh, that was not, it's, it's, it's more of a mystery. It's not really a scary movie, per se. It's just more of a mystery. It's kind of like one of those movies where you, you think you, like, it's like, I should have known. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Known. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When they finally. For our number nine spot, we have Friday the Thirteenth. Woo! And so, with this, we have. Classic. We have well, we have the classic. Yeah. But then they did come out with the remake. Actually, I don't know which one they're talking about. I think they're person. talking about the original. They're probably talking about the classic, but. Um, if you have a chance, if you if you you know you feel like you have a little time, I would honestly check out the the new one. The new one's actually not bad. Um, it actually has uh, if you ever seen Supernatural, the TV show, it has the uh, the brother Sam. Yeah. It has Sam. He's the brother of the have girl. Have you seen the new one? I have. It's actually really good. Have it's, you seen the original? I, I oh yeah of course. Okay. Hell so yeah. spoiler. I probably shouldn't ask this, but in the remake, is it still the mother that's the killer at the end? Or did No, no. See, in the remake, it's still Jason. Because in the original, it wasn't Jason that killed her. I know. Stuff. No, it was the mom. But in the original, in the, the remake, it's actually Jason. They, it's they just, screwed it up! It's just, a, it's pretty much... They ruined it for me forever! Pretty much <laughs> with the new one, with the remake, it's, it's yeah. kind of like a reboot. It's an origin story of how okay. Jason became what he was. Our number eight spot, and one of my favorites, Halloween. <gasps> so, Halloween, like just like Friday the Thirteenth. I'm assuming this is the original. The original. This Halloween. is the original. Okay. Yeah. So Halloween, they have. They also have remakes. Um, and yeah, they, do they have two remakes? They have two remakes. They do. But yeah. the the Rob Zombie one yep. wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Oh, I love it. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then they just had a recent one that just came out. It's uh, it's Halloween. I haven't seen it. Is it's, it actually a, is it actually a, a remake of it, so, or is it like continuing on? So what I what because I haven't seen it yet, but what I I was told about it because I, I was talking to uh, somebody about it the other day. Um, as far as what he told me was that the movie that came out recently it was a direct prequel or sorry sequel, a direct sequel to the original. Oh, so it's nice. so yeah. So if you if you cut out, excuse my excuse me for saying this, but if you cut out all the bullshit from part two all the way through, you know H two O resurrection, all those. If you cut out all that, Freddy versus Jason. If you cut Jason out Jason X. If what you, is this bullshit? <laughs> if you cut out all that, it's supposed to be a direct. Um, sequel Got it. to the very first one. So I've been wanting to watch it. I've been wanting so, to see so, it. but I heard it's really good. That's I, I heard it. It's like has more gore than anything, and this, this, and that. So, dude, the Rob Zombie ones. I have to say though, vicious. They oh yeah, they they made. Dude, 
They did an amazing job. Dude, they Mike moved. Myers was that vicious. He was. Yeah. They, they made him like, he was a true serial killer. Yeah. Like the guy, I, I'm not even like, I'm not even kidding. The guy that played the actor, I think he was a serial killer <laughs> because he did such a good job that he... he who was that? Hold on, who was that? That was dude, he's like, uh... He was, uh... <laughs> he was a wrestler, I think. I think so. Yeah, I think he was a, a wrestler. Let me see here. Let me see if I find it. So, continuing, our number seven is... And I personally, this is not my favorite, but The Ring. And this is the original The Ring because oh, they did. Oh, this is the actual uh, Japanese version. Well, no, this is the this is the Americanized American. version of it. Okay. But they just made a Ring, I believe, a new Ring movie. It's called Rings. It is it called Rings? Yeah, it's like pluralized Rings. But I anyways, seen it like that. but um, uh, I, I'm assuming that one, because that movie that came out recently, that one was like, um, I guess it was a different story of of what. How she was created. Really? That's yeah. weird. Yeah. So, um, but um, I the the original. I I have I have. Yeah. It's it's not bad. It's not bad a movie. Um, the original rings. I'm not too much of a fan, honestly. No. I don't really like the rings to be honest with you because it was it was pretty much you watch a videotape and you die. That's what the movie is about. I enjoyed it mainly because I don't know her name that acted in it. God damn, she's Blondie? Beautiful. Yeah. The Blondie? Yeah. Ooh, um, she's beautiful. Anyways. That's where I'm honestly, and, and like I said, I'm not much of a fan, and I, I hate to be a the downer, but that's that's where I leave it. I'm going to be... That's your favorite. No, yeah. we're not. We're moving on. Except for the fact that they did film it in the Pacific Northwest is where we They did. It. They did. I love they that. They did. I love the landscape. They did. They did. If anything, I love the landscape. All right. So. So. Number six on our list is Insidious. Oh yeah. So no, I'm not yeah. gonna watch it. No, no, I'm not watching it. Yeah. <laughs> so Insidious. Um, if I remember, I don't remember that one very, very, very correctly. If, 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 I, if I remember correctly, is it about that Hold demon? On, pause it. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, it's about a demon. A demon um, that comes out of like a. a, a like they call it Insidious. Uh, I N D uh, I N S I D I O U S. Uh, a family looks to prevent evil spirits from trapping their com comatose child in a realm called the Further. I okay, so Insidious, I've, I honestly, I've never seen Insidious, okay. personally. You can leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen it, so... Um, you voted for it. Yeah. You voted for it, but uh, I've never seen it. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, not that I don't want to see it, I just haven't seen it. I heard it was really good. Yeah, I've, I've been hearing really good things about I think, it. Actually, is that the one where they made the second one and they had like a, a prequel to it or something? Something like that. that. But I, I'll have to, I'll have to, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take some time. I'll, I'll, I'll go in, out and I'll look for it. We're going to do our I'll, research. I'll, we'll do our research and then we'll, we'll, maybe we'll come back and do a second, second take on this. But, uh, moving on, we're going to go to our number five spot and... I hate this movie, The Grudge. <laughs> Personally, The Grudge sucked because I've seen all of them and they were terrible movies. <laughs> Dude, come on! That's fine. I'm yeah, sorry. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, um, it was definitely something different. I mean, it's see, weird. The thing about it is, is they had. I have not, no, 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 like qualms to her. They had Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yes, actually, yeah, I was about to say. They, they had Sarah Michelle, Michelle Gellar what's as the. What's wrong with Sarah Michelle Gellar? They're nothing. I have no qualms it's against funny. her. There's nothing wrong with her. So what's the deal? The story itself, because if you've already seen, because I've seen the original Japanese version of the movie, the original Japanese version version of the movie was actually pretty good. Like they actually did a is really that good. What we're talking about? Or are we talking about? We're do. We're, no, this is the Americanized version of it. Let's pretend. That's <laughs> so the Japanese version, if, 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 if I'm speaking frankly, was actually really good. Um, they it, it wasn't like like Hollywooded up. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. yeah, like it was too much production. Yeah, too much production. Like it was more. They spent five minutes on her looking down an alley. It was more. Why? <laughs> it was it was more about the the movie itself and not just the production value of the movie. Exactly, but. I, I enjoyed the original Japanese version. Um, the new ones, The Grudge, 
they could have done better. Not that I'm saying they could have done better with the actor. The actor, she's not a bad actor. Just she, it's just the the maybe the story. Just the and then of course what he was saying the projection value. I just I don't. That was my personal opinion. You guys like it? That's fine. But that's just my personal opinion. He's gonna walk out. He's disappointed right now. Moving the on. Entire list. Moving Mike on. Drop. Mic drop. <laughs> Moving on. So this is actually one of my personal favorites, honestly. The Conjuring. See, now that's number four. The Conjuring was a great movie. If uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Honestly, go watch it. It's a great movie. Will I pee myself if I watch it? You might, because okay. this one, if, if you've ever seen Annabelle, if you've seen Annabelle, the... Well, they're all, they're all connected. They're all connected. Yeah. Um, if actually, um, if you've seen The Nun, the new the movie that just came out is called The Nun. That movie is somewhat entwined in that too, because the, um, the demon that's in that movie has something to do with, uh, uh, it's, I believe their names are Ed and... Ed and what's her name? Is it based on a real story? Uh, true they're true stories. These, these two they're, psychics. They're they're that, uh, Ed, yeah. Ed, Ed, yeah, they're called the Warrens. Um, oh, so okay. they so what it is is they have a home. I don't know where it's at, but they have a home where it's like they have they house a whole bunch of supernatural objects, if you will, like Annabelle doll. Okay. You know, uh, it's a lot of stuff like that. Um, anyways, the Conjuring, what it was about was. Uh, spoiler alert, sorry, but uh, The Conjuring was pretty much about um, a witch that had been hung in front of a house and the uh, the witch was coming back to pretty much haunt the house or whatever. And so, but uh, essentially a family had moved into the house and the, you know, they were tr the, the witch was trying to kill the family inside the house. So would you see this as... on our list is Nightmare on Elm Street. Now that movie scared the living hell out of me when I was a child. Yeah. It really did. It really scared the living hell out of me. I could not sleep for days because the dude, there's a, it's yeah. a dude yeah. that goes into your dreams yeah. and kills you in your sleep. Yep. I mean, what what does it, what, what is it? Actually, I, I, I remember being a little kid and I would watch that movie at my friend's house and when we were, it's time for bed, I asked him, dude, what street do you live on? And he tells me, Elm Street, right before we go to bed. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's, up, That's beautiful. No, but honestly, right but now. but honestly, like I uh, honestly, that movie was like that one kind of like it made me afraid of water beds. It <laughs> it made me afraid of hospitals. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like you, Johnny English. You know? What was his name? No, Robert England. Robert Robert England. England. That dude. Johnny Depp after that. They just, I think they came out with a new one. The guy from uh, mm -hmm. Watchmen, yep. Rorschach? Yep. He played the new one. Yep. I haven't seen it yet. It's good. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah, good. I, I, have, it. I haven't uh, seen it. A lot of people uh, mix reviews. So. Mix reviews. I mean, because it's, it's difficult. It's difficult it redoing a movie. Oh, yeah, that's already good. Yeah, 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 exactly. But I believe it was still a, a decent movie. Okay. It still made me pee myself. So, <laughs> hey, thanks. I'll so, have to go. No, I'll have to All right, so moving on, number two, Jackie, Jackie boy, The Shining, The Shining, The Shining, ah, The Shining, The Shining. Now, now that that has to be one of my all-time favorites, honestly, because like honestly, Jack Nicholson, he's a great actor, he's a, an amazing actor, and and Here's honestly, in that movie, his acting alone. Um, actually, there's a documentary about it. I believe there's a documentary about it that in the in the scene where um, where he actually the scene that Chris just just mentioned, the scene where he was like he busts through the damn door with the axe yeah. and he's like, "Here's Johnny" or whatever. Well, there's a scene uh, in that scene the the lady that pay, played the 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 wife. Uh, I don't. Shelley Duvall. Yeah, Shelley Duvall. She, they said, I, and I'm not even kidding you, they said that in that scene, she was actually screaming. Yeah. That was her no, actually screaming. I think almost, almost she was terrified. terrified. Oh, she, was she was actually crazy. terrified, yeah. She actually hit Jack Nicholson with that. Yeah, yeah, she was actually yeah, he terrified. Was, like, he was calling up, yeah. walking up the stairs, and she was... ...for it, and we delivered it number one 
The Exorcist. Oh. So, that movie's a true story. Ah, uh, based on a true story. It, it is. It not, I'm not saying the movie is true. But, I mean, what I'm saying, though, is based on a true story. Yeah. Every, every movie. All kinds of true stories. <laughs> yes. Many, many true um, stories made into one yeah. movie. Though, but the one thing that really caught my eye, because I just read something um, the other day about this movie, uh, Linda Blair, I think, she's the one that played the uh, little girl. <clears throat> She, there was a scene where, uh, I don't know if you, anybody remembers if you've seen it, there's a scene where she's like, it's like she's spazzing me out, where she's kind of like the bed, not the bed's, not the bed, but her, she's kind of like, yeah. Right. well, that scene, uh, it actually really happened, like, she was like, they were moving her like that, like, really hardcore, and she's like, to, to this day, she has like, back problems because of it. Oh. And so that really like, yeah, that really kind of like, I was just like, you know, you have to be like the ultimate actor to actually like Jackie Chan. Like I'm, I'm yeah. he's, he, he's not in like any, any of the lists or anything, but Jackie Chan, that dude, like every movie you've seen by Jackie Chan, he broke something. He broke something. <laughs> and, and not only does like, he's like, okay, well, let me just walk it off. He just walks the damn thing off. He does the stunt again with a broken cast and everything. So it's just yeah. like... The cast is broken. When they put it on them, they're like, oh, dang, the cast broke. Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to still do it anyway. <laughs> Screw it. But but honestly, like you have to have some sort of devotion to actually put yourself through some kind of just like physically or bodily harm and just be like... Well, honestly, the, the movie itself, X the Exorcist, uh, the, the scenes that they have in that movie is just terrifying. Oh, it is. Uh, crab walk. Down yeah, the dude. The, what, the, you know, the thing that freaked me out the most, in my opinion, yeah. and because I'm God, I'm like the biggest, and I don't know how anybody else feels, but I am the biggest like man, God fearing man here, and and but the thing that freaked me out was when she grabbed that crucifix and she was stabbing herself in her her private yeah. area. That Lady was parts. yeah, that just like freaked me out because like for something. For something to possess somebody that terribly, for somebody to grab a crucifix and do that to somebody, you just you just don't go there. You, just, you don't go there, you man. Just don't go there. You don't go there. But so, that's why it's number one. But the that movie, that's why it's number one. The movie that's is, actually the movie is terrifying. It is. It is a terrifying movie. But uh, are there any movies that are not on the list that you wish were on? The list? Um. Uh, let's see. If I had to think. Hmm. No, actually, there you is. You know, there's there's one movie I wish was on there that it's a horror movie, but it's also kind of a comedic movie, Evil Dead. Oh yeah. I kind of wish the Evil Dead was somewhere yeah. on. There, it's it's not really like but, scary, but but no, it's a horror movie. It, no, but I'm just saying, like it's That's more comedic. It's on horror, we're on horror movies. No, it's true. Yeah. It's the scariest yeah. movies. It's a horror it, movie. It's a horror movie. And I, it, I, I the, wish it was on there. Somewhere. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it might be number eleven. I don't know. Maybe it was. It just didn't quite make number ten, but. Evil Dead. It is. It, it, uh, Where's my Evil Dead? <laughs> Where's my Evil Dead? But uh, <laughs> it's all on the uh, yeah. <laughs> honestly, those are, those are good movies though. Like uh, what is it called? The uh, what's the second one? Uh, <laughs> those uh, uh, the, the castle Army one, Darkness. Army of Darkness. Well, like, no, you have Evil Dead. You have <laughs> Evil Dead too, which is basically the first one. They just uh, a, a new group goes there, and, and uh, Bruce Campbell's already there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you know, they, then that's when he gets the chainsaw hand. And then you have the third one, which is the Army of Darkness, and when she goes back in the medieval time. Yeah, that's right. And, and then, yeah. then uh, all three of them. All three of them should be on the list. But the, uh, the but yeah. Anyways, but that's uh that's the list for uh, the top ten scariest movies. Um, I personally, some of the movies on here. Uh, they could have been better, better, scarier, whatever, or but different or different order, you know. Um, but so this list came from the top tens.com. If you don't agree with this list, then by all means, you can go and you know, and put your own your what you think is the scariest or whatever. You know, it, it's it's by personal opinion. But this is what people voted on. These are the, the top ten that people I you know here voted on. So yeah, but that's a. Uh, that's my list, top 10 scariest movies. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you, uh, you wanna see more, just uh, subscribe.
pop it, you know. Um, we have a Patreon page. Check Go check out the Patreon page. Um, yeah, it mixed in uh, uh, Squarespace or something. My uh, my associate, he, uh, he'll give you that website. But it's all going to be at the bottom, so just just check it out. But uh, yeah, just go, just go get yourself a shirt or whatever. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. There you go. That's, that's perfect. Thanks for watching. That's your outro.